Professor Cheng couldn't be here. He is in San Francisco attending a meeting. But it is my honor to receive this award uh, uh, from Brain Foundation and on behalf of members of the research team, which includes University of Melbourne and CSIRO, where I am from. Uh, I would like to thank the Brain Foundation and its scientific committee, along with the sponsors, donors, and patrons of this uh, foundation. This award will enable us to do research in a mosquito-borne virus called Zika virus, which affects brains and causes a significant brain damage in infants. Now, Zika virus is transmitted by mosquitoes from person to person, and when a uh, normal adult gets infected, it shows almost no symptoms or very mild symptoms, sometimes fever and some mild um, uh, muscle pain. However, in some in circumstances, this infection causes uh, severe neurological symptoms. More importantly, if a pregnant woman gets infected with this virus, she can pass this virus on to her fetus, and which leads to uh, severe brain damage, and uh, you also heard of microcephaly. Uh, now, Zika virus infection has now spread to more than 45 countries, and uh, last year, World Health Organization classified Zika infection as a disease of priority in urgent need of further research into therapeutics and drug development. Uh, there are no approved vaccines or any efficacious drugs to prevent or treat the, this disease, so it poses a major public health risk. Now, one of the major birth defects, as I mentioned, is microcephaly. It is characterized by a smaller than usual size of brain, um, which is caused by significant brain cell death. Now, Zika virus mainly targets a type of immature brain cell called neural progenitor uh, cells, which are important in fetal and infant brain development. Now, upon infection, Zika virus causes these cells to die, uh, and the mechanism is unknown, uh, which leads to microcephaly. Now, what we propose to do is employ a bi biochemical method called proteomics to investigate how Zika virus kills these cells. Specifically, we tried, we'll try to identify proteins that are chemically modified in these immature brain cells as a result of infection. Their identification will help us in identifying a mechanism of how Zika virus is killing these cells, but it will also, more importantly, um, identify and uh, will help us develop um, compounds that can uh, protect uh, these cells against Zika virus infection. Now, these compounds will be potential drugs to, prot uh, to protect the brain damage in Zika-infected uh, patients. So there is a need to develop these uh, new drugs to treat and prevent microcephaly and other neurological complications caused by Zika infection. And this award by Brain Foundation will enable us in identifying this mechanism and potentially develop new drugs to reduce the impact of the disease. So I thank Brain Foundation for this award. <laughs>